The CDC this morning is investigating 14 possible U.S. cases of Zika virus that may have been spread through sex. The new cases include several pregnant women, and that brings the U.S. total to at least 105 travel-related cases covering 24 states and Washington, D.C. Our Dr. David Agus is here. David, good morning. This even surprised officials at the CDC. It's a surprise, but there's medical literature showing that Zika virus can be transmitted and present in sperm, and it's been around for several years. So it's not new, but I think the number of cases this early on when Zika is in the U.S. in a very small amount is surprising. Mm -hmm. um, what does it mean? What does it mean, yeah. Well, what it means is, is that we have been giving warnings to women. You know, avoid anybody, uh, you know, these mosquitoes, avoid traveling, especially if you're going to get pregnant. But now what it means is we've shown or scientists have shown Zika in sperm for up to 60 days. And so what it means is anybody travel in those regions and they're going to have sex, they need to have protection or they need to abstain from they sex. They might not know they have it. They might, you're right. Many people may have no symptoms with Zika. We don't know if they can have Zika virus in their sperm. It hasn't been documented yet, but it's certainly possible, especially with the new cases. You know, Zika virus is obviously here in the U.S., but as mosquito season comes in the Gulf Coast, it's going to spread pretty dramatically. So what's the recommendation now? Because at first, when it first broke, it was about pregnant women, and now we're talking about men and sexually transmitted disease. Well, you remember the 80s. You had to ask everybody their sexual history, and yeah. we were all worried about HIV at the time. Now you have to ask people their travel history. And so we need to learn more about this. We need a quick test for the virus. We need to accelerate vaccines. But you need to be very careful if somebody you're considering having sex with had traveled to South America or in a place where there is the Zika virus. And what's a diplomatic way to ask that question? Well, I have to <laughs> yield to Charlie on that one. And he'll, uh... no, I have asked this before. I cannot get an answer, but do mosquitoes have any redeeming value? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, only women mosquitoes understand. bite. So I think you, you have you to say to only, only, only women mosquitoes sting or bite oh, you. Men don't bite. Mm -hmm. Um, you're right. We can eliminate all mosquitoes, but the frogs are going to be very upset. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's an ecosystem out there. Okay. Once you hit one thing, other things are affected also. That being said, mosquitoes have killed more people in this world than, than all of any the other thing. Yeah, they're the most dangerous any animal on the planet. Thing. They are. Yes, mosquitoes yeah. are the most right. dangerous. Yeah. I have eight-year-olds yeah. and seven-year-olds, yeah. so I, this is how I know this. Yeah, yeah. That the mosquito is the most dangerous animal on the planet. Yeah. All right. So one yeah. more thing to worry it's about this one. It's morning. extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. It the is number scary. of deaths caused by mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. David Agus.